Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. And this uh, is a web episode, a uh, web series like always every Tuesday, guys. Everything all about Office 2013. And I'm going to continue my whole thing about Excel. Uh, one of the new features that I found out with Excel 2013 is the power views, okay? So let's go into the insert tab. And within Insert tab, they have this new reporting feature within Office 2013, especially on Excel. It's called Power Views. Now, let me tell you something about Power Views. Uh, Power Views, you need to have Silverlight installed, as well as it's an add-in within your Excel 2003 that needs to be enabled. Now, if you never used it, if you never used it before, uh, the very first time you click on it, it's going to want you to enable it. Once you enable it. It creates an additional uh, sheet spreadsheet at the bottom, and if you don't have Civilite installed or you don't have the latest one, you have to install it, and then you can reload and use it. I already did all that stuff, so I'm going to click on it, and it is going to open up the Power View. And there you go. This is the Power View. Power View has their own. It has its own tab. As you can see at the very bottom, it opens up an additional spreadsheet tab. Uh, but I don't have any data because I haven't selected anything to the original sheet. So I'm going to go into the original sheet that I have here, and uh, I don't know. Let's, let's let's just let's pick I don't know all this right here. Uh, oops, let me do that. Let's pick let's pick this information right here, and then let's go to insert again and hit Power View. And then it gives you a nice little dialog box. Do you want to create a new Power View or do you want to add it to an existing Power View? I want to add it to the existing Power View, so I'm going to hit OK. And once it's up and up and running, you get this nice little chart, which is excellent. You can go right here in the top and uh, you know type in a title. I'm going to do Customer Reports. And from here, you're able to manipulate the data, uh, expand it a little bit. There you go. Uh, right here on the side, you actually have the fields. Like automatically, Excel eliminates the login, but if you want the logins, you could just check on logins, and it will give you the logins tab, which is pretty cool. Uh, give you sidebars to go back and forth from the table, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's a towel buy feature, which is pretty awesome. I'm gonna uncheck the login feature, but I don't want that tab. Uh, but let's say you just want first names. You can click and drag it into the tile by feature and it'll automatically change the report by each individual user, which is pretty awesome. Uh, you have by design. Uh, Power View again has its own tab or own ribbon that you can manipulate the settings within Power View. Now Microsoft added a new feature to protect your spreadsheet a little further. Now within the review, like always, you have the protected sheet, which allows you to protect your sheet so no one could edit when you're sharing your document. You got protect workbook, which keeps others from making any changes to your workbook. And then now there's a new added feature with Office 2013, especially in Excel, that allows users to edit a certain specific range so let's say or within the spreadsheet I don't want anyone to change the first name or the login or the last name but I do want people to modify the phone the street and all uh, and the city so let's select all this because this is what I want people to change so I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom I think I have about 200 and six cells of information that I want to tell Excel that I want it you know I want people to edit only this range so I'm gonna do allow I wanna go to new and it's already selected because I already have it selected let's call this a uh, customer could change I don't know you guys can give it whatever name you want give it the password that you want now if you are working more of a network environment you most likely could add a group or specific users to add it 
So we're gonna press OK. Get this nice little dialog box to reconfirm the password that you gave it. Press OK. And that's it. You're good to go. From here you can create other ranges if you want. But I'm just gonna hit apply and OK. Once you do that, we need to lock your spreadsheet. So let's protect your sheet. Uh, yes, protect the worksheet in the contents of the locked cells. Let's give it a password. And select lock cells and select unlock cells. So we're going to leave that as default. Press OK. It's going to want you to reconfirm your password. And OK it. And it's locked. Now let's say you give this worksheet or spreadsheet to someone in your company and you want them to change something, but they want to change the first name of Ruby. See what happens when I try to change it? The cell of the chart you're trying to change is protected. You can't do it. But let's say if so I think I did cities. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. So let's say he wants to change the city. And once he change tries to change the city, he's gonna get the prompt to put the password. He puts the password in. And then you are allowed to ch change it with no problem. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this web episode of all about Office 2013. Please check out every Tuesday a new episode. Uh, please leave comments if you guys have any questions or if you want to see something else. Let me know. Uh, please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Oh, 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 oh.